Okay, we're gonna cover 99 bottles. So I'm gonna open up a new terminal. I'm gonna new VS code. I'm gonna CD into my desktop, Lima Platoon, and then LS. I've got Git Practice. And here I'm gonna, here's, right here is where I wanna clone my 99 bottles. So does anybody remember how I get 99 bottles into my own GitHub and then down on, like essentially download it onto my personal machine? Um, you have hmm. to click on the, the green clone or download to get the uh, URL. Okay. And then um, once you're in your uh, VS code, then you can do git clone and then just paste the URL. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> there is one That's step. First, yep. There is one step before that. So you're I'm still, in the, yep. I'm still in the Lima platoon. So I want to fork this over yeah. to mine. So I know I did this yesterday. I deleted it. I just wanted to fork it over again. So up here, fork to Tom Preet. It's gonna have a little scanner. It's making a copy of it. And here it goes. And then, like you said, I'm gonna click this clone or download, copy this link to my clipboard, and then come into here, into my VS code. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And then get clone. And then paste that link in here. So Tom Pre 99 bottles. I'm in the Lima, Lima challenges. Download it. I'm going to list it again. So I've got Git practice and 99 bottles. I want to CD into 99 bottles. All right. So I'm in desktop, Lima, or Lima challenges, 99 bottles. And now I'm actually in the 99 bottles repository directory. It's got the J JavaScript, Python, and the readme. And now I want to open this directory into VS code. Does anybody know the command to open the current directory that I am, which is 99 bottles into VS code? I believe it was a uh, code. Uh, Node. Space dash R. Space dash R. And then the, uh, you could either open up the entire directory with a dot, or if you want to open up just a specific file, since we're not working on the Python today, you could do uh, 99bottles.js um, and okay. the readme.md. So that way you could have the, the problem presented. You know, you could open up both. Both of them like the, the same split, thing. Yeah, I like the split screen personally. Yep. So I'm just going to open up this entire folder because it's okay if I have the Python in there. It's not that big of a deal. So code space dash R period. It's going to reload VS code with the 99 bottles up here, the directory, and then with the files. So I want to, so right now I just clicked it once, but it's not staying. It's switching between files. So I want to double click my, uh, the file for it to actually stick to the top. And actually I'll also, I want to open up my readme just for, for fun. So I've got 99 bottles and the readme, which has all the instructions. And I actually want to split the screen. So I've got, so I've got 99 bottles here and the readme over on this, on the right-hand side. In order to do that, in order to do that, I can come up here to upper right-hand corner and they, it says split editor right. So I'm currently have the readme focused. And if I split the editor, it splits it here. Now I just want to delete that just to have here. So I've got the readme so I can actually read it. And then the 99 bottles or the, the bottle song. So let's read the 99 bottles. So write a program that can print the 99 bottles of beer song. Okay. Take note of how the bottles turns to bottle at the right time. You can certainly use while for, for each and various other built in methods. So before it's really easy to just, okay, I'm gonna just start coding and start writing my code here. But before I, I actually wanna write my code cause I might be headed down the wrong path as I'm writing my code. I wanna write it out. It's called pseudo coding. It's essentially writing out the logical steps 
of the function or the logical thought processes of what, how I think this problem should be solved in essentially plain English. So up here, this is, this is called pseudo coding. It's not actual coding because it's just like, all right, I'm just gonna lay out the logical steps. So, so what I wanna do is, you know, write a method or function. And I think somewhere it says, make your, so challenge yourself, make your code able to take in and account for any bottle amount. So, so if I don't wanna just do 99 bottles, maybe I only wanna do 10 bottles of beer or a thousand bottles of beer. So write a function. I want this function to take in a parameter that is a number of how many bottles of beer I wanna count down from. Take, write a function that takes in a parameter, a number parameter, because I don't wanna take in a, a string parameter. Take in a number parameter. Um, okay. And I can even takes in a number just uh, and then with that, so I've got, so I'm just trying to think logically how this program should work right now. I'm a new, new developer. I, I don't quite know totally. So I have 99 and it looks like 99, 98, 97, 96. So it decrements. So I need to do, so it essentially repeats this code all the way down. It decrements all the way down until it reaches here. And then some, there's some change in the song, like where it converts from a plural to a singular bottle. So all the way down. So I want to decrement. Dec well, do I, how do I want to do this? I can do a for loop. I can do a while loop. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a while loop. So uh, use while loop to decrement number until what's at what point do I want the the while loop to stop? Does anybody know? Like at two. Two? So once it reaches two and that breaks out of that while loop. So essentially it's gonna in within the while loop it's gonna repeat this code and decrement uh, so while loop, I'm gonna change this right. Use while loop uh, until uh, number equals two. It could also be like greater than or equal to could be also just like greater or greater than one, but we'll do two. So use while loop, like write a while loop until, so within the while loop, I need to what? Uh, essentially write the song, uh, console log, I hate actually, write out in terminal, the string string of the song, and then I'll actually do this. Actually, I'll do that. So I want, oh. So what's happening? So I'm writing a while loop until number equals two. And then like, all right, within while loop, write out in terminal a string of the song 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Okay, but so I don't wanna hard code this 99 bottle part. So this, this should be actually like the number right here, number, and then, so I, should I, 
Number minus one. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can do number one. So we can do number minus one. So that's within the while loop. So write a function that takes in a number parameter. So, so I say it's 10 and then write a, use a while loop until the number equals two because we want to repeat this all the way down until this number equals two. So once it's within the while loop, comes into here, it writes this number of bottles of beer on the wall, takes them down number minus one, and then I actually have to decrement, I actually have to uh, decrement number by one. And then, so that's within the while, while loop. I'm just gonna kind of separate that just so I know. So if it's decrementing by one, all the way down until this equals two. So once it equals, should it be equals two or should it be just greater than, oh, until it equals two. So when it equals two, does it break out? I had a while loop until zero and I okay. had conditions for two and one. Okay. Yep. I just, I just did while greater than two. Okay. Yeah, there's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. I used a helper function and a switch case. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Um, just, uh, but as far as the way we got it written here, I would say uh, greater greater than two. So okay. that way, when it actually hits two, uh, it'll test. So at the the point where it gets decremented to the number two, so mm -hmm. currently it's at three. Yep. When it actually, you know, print out the verse for three bottles three. yeah then it gets decremented down to the uh, two Ooh. and then it'll test the condition at the beginning of the while loop and if uh, it's two uh you want to go ahead and you know um the condition needs to be greater than two because if it is two then the condition is false and then now we can go into our own okay hmm let's see i'm gonna do i'm confused why wouldn't you just do it greater than one what did i miss well, there's there's multiple time there's multiple ways we can do it. Um, I'm actually going to do greater than or equal to one. I just want to see. I just want because once it's great, once it equals one, and then maybe I want to do an if statement within there. So like if it equals one, then yeah. So this is this is why it's important to pseudocode because I may be going down a path that's like when I write it out and like if I just write my code and then like something comes up that doesn't meet the requirements and then I have to like re-edit my code. It's better to do it all in here first in plain English. So when you get to two, the song changes to one though as part of it. Yep. So increment by one and then let's just do it from right here. And then once it equals two, it's going to break out. Uh, no, let's just keep it equal one. And then once it equals one, maybe in here is when I want to do an if statement, right? Take one down, pass it around. So if I decrement it from here, then I can do like an if statement in here. If no. You have a couple edge cases when it's one inside that loop. So number of bottles yeah. has to be singular. And then uh, you still have to take one down. So those are like conflicting things. You you can't put it before, or you have to put it before taking one down because you still have to take one down when it's one. So it can be none. And then uh, you have to convert that bottles to singular form. So yeah. you kind of have to find the perfect spot for it. <laughs> Right. So if I wanted bottles to be one, I can actually do some string interpolation and write a ternary to see if there's bottles is greater than one, include an S, otherwise just have an empty string. Um, bottles. Let's see, decrement one. So if it's, let's just do greater than one. Let's just let's just see what happens. 
So once it breaks out, so once it is greater than one, so it's greater than one, uh, cool, decrement one. And then essentially it just breaks out and I can, breaks out of while loop and then just print out remaining uh, lyrics and then this should be number and then go to the store buy some more and then, well, if I do number here, because I need the starting number. So right now the number would be zero. So it'd be zero. So before I even write a file while loop, I need to uh, uh, create variable called uh, remaining bottles and assign it to number. So I think that that kind of logically works, right? So I has a remain up, oh, but here are the remaining bottles. We would call it starting bottles or something. Can you starting bottles? I'm gonna do remaining bottles because I want that number to actually decrement. So here- You have to change all the other number to remaining bottles. Yep. So I can do that real quick by doing that. Do that okay. again. I couldn't remember yep. from yesterday. Yep. So what I just did. So if I want to change, so right here, I've got this variable called remaining bottles and I want to change all wherever the number is, where this number is originally used to remaining bottles. I can highlight just one of them and hold command D and then it highlights the, the ones that I want and I can just cop, I've already copied it and now I just paste it and it changes all the numbers of what I, all the number there, uh, places where it says number to remaining bottles of where I want it to actually change number. Uh, after the edit, there is one number that still needed to be uh, changed to remaining and that's on line three. Oh, yep, thank you. All right, let's see if this works. <laughs> so bottle song, let's start with 10, or I'm sorry, uh, bottles, takes in a parameter. I just wanna put here, so write your code here. So the first I wanna create a variable, let remaining bottles equal bottles. So what I'm doing is creating a variable called remaining bottles and assigning it to bottles, the bottles parameter. And then write a while loop. So while uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, remaining bottles, is it greater than one? Yep. Open. And then I can console log, because I want to print out to the screen, console log this part. remaining bottles, but since, well, first I just wanna see if I'm able to decrement and if this breaks out. Well, hold on, let's see this. Hold on, what's going on? So I've got remaining bottles, but this is not an actual variable, it's still a string. So I need to do string interpolation, right? to actually make it um, crap. So I can do this real easily. Let's see, and then what does it say? I need to Take what take one down, pass it around. 
So I can console log this part. But again, I need to do string interpolation. And I need to do remaining bottles minus one and remaining bottles. How do I decrement this variable by one? Minus, minus. So I can do remaining bottles. I can do equals or yeah. Is it just minus, minus? Cool. So let's see if this works with 10 bottles. Open up the term terminal. I've written a lot of code without actually running it yet, which is something I generally don't like to do. So I need to run 99 bottles JS. How do I run it in the terminal? Node. Node 99 bottles JS. All right, so I've got, looks like I got a song going. So I got it all the way down to take one now. Two bottles of beer on, on the wall. One bottle of beer on the wall. So that's why you want it to be greater than two, right? Or greater than or equal to. Yeah. But we can fix that. Instead of bottles, I can change this. So this S is what's messing us up. Is this it should be a singular. But let's change this. I'm just gonna change it in line right here. I'm gonna do some string interpolation again. Oh, whoop. So instead of this bottles, oh, it's still not gonna work, is it? Maybe if I do, I'm gonna move this up one and see what it looks like. I'm gonna clear down here. Okay, so I got two bottles of beer on the wall. So I, I still got one bottle, take one down, pass it around. So I, it looks like I don't need a decrement here, right here. So let's see this again, because it's switched from two bottles of beer on the wall to zero bottles of beer on the wall. So I'm gonna clear this again and run it again. Okay, we're getting there. Same output, removed a little code but I wanna make this, so if remaining bottles is greater than one S otherwise, otherwise no. Does that, what did I just do right here? Ternary. Yep. So essentially what I did, so I wrote some code in, in a turn or in string interpolation right within here, I can write JavaScript and that's what I'm doing. So what I'm doing, this is called a ternary. It's essentially writing like an if statement. So it's testing if remaining bottles is greater than one, that's this question mark, if it is there, then include an S. Otherwise, this is like an or, have it equal null. So let's just see if this actually worked. Oh, bottle null. What if I just did undefined or empty string? Right there, okay. So, if remaining bottles is greater than one, include an S at the end of bottles. Otherwise just have it be an empty string. So like bottles, it's working, it's working. Once bottles, once that remaining bottles equals one, it doesn't include that S at the end of it. Now you can always just ex exclude this and put it, I don't know if, can you put it on the outside? Sure you can. Or you can have an if statement like, uh, if bottles, if remaining bottles equals, or is greater than one, then write this, or essentially write this thing with 
without the thing, without the, uh, without it being plural. So I, another way you can write this, it might be, it could be longer, you can be like, if remaining bottles is greater than one, move this up, move this up there. If it's greater than one, include an S. Otherwise, let's see if this works. See, same thing. Still, it, it still meets the requirements, but it's a little more code. But this is kind of easier to read. But let's go back. So this was the same thing as having that if else statement just by adding this ternary right here. And then let's see if it breaks out of this breaks out of while loop. I just want to make sure that go actually prints out at the end. Cool. So break takes one down, pass it around one bottle of beer on the wall. Beer on the wall. So now what do I need? Taste one down. Do I just have to write here? Or right here. This is all I need, right? And you can also just do this all in one console log. Oh, I broke out, but I'm just doing it this way just because, just because that's the way I want to do it. Clear, let's run it again to see if it actually works the whole thing. So what did I just do? Uh, let's see what, hold on, let's run it and then review it. Take one down, one, don't worry. Cool, so it starts with 10. Now we can do, let's actually do the 99. Does it still work? 99, 98. So 90, yep, 94, 93, cool. All the way down and takes one down. One bottle of beer on the wall. Take one down, pass it around. Great, it works. Uh, there is one little uh, catch the way we wanted to uh, leave it as a starting value or keep track of the initial bottles. So in oh. your final console log, when you go back to the store, uh, you yep. need to. Thank you for catching that. So. So 99, but if I had 10 and I ran this initially, so I start with 10, but then it says I want 99 bottles of beer on the wall. So that's not correct. So good catch. I need bottles. So maybe that works. Clear, not bottles. Oh, string interpolation. So I need to, instead of, the, just a regular quote, I need to do a backtick for string interpolation. And a backtick is uh, the key right next, right left to, of the one, uh, right left of the one number on your keyboard. So let's see if this works again. Cool. So let's review kind of what 99 bottles 
So the bottle song takes in a parameter of bottles, which is a number. Uh, I'm assigning remaining bottles to the parameter because we want to keep track. We're going to have to reference this specific value at the very end. And then I'm writing a while loop while remaining bottles is greater than one. It jumps into this while loop, this piece of code right here. That console log, logs, this, the remaining bottles, bottles of beer on the wall, and then it decrements right away. So prints this out, decrements the bot remaining bottles, this value by one, then console logs, take one down, pass it around. Uh, remaining bottles, so five bottles of beer on the wall. And then once it gets down to one bottle of beer, or it's greater than one. So yeah, so once it gets down to one bottle of beer, it changes from plural to singular when remaining bottles is greater than one, but once it's equals one, it says, it creates a singular version of the bottle. So it's just bottle versus bottles. And then once it is greater than one, or once it actually e reaches one, then it breaks out of this while loop. So it, it keeps on decrementing here. Once it's equals one, once remaining bottles equals one, it breaks out of this while loop and then it console logs this. And that's it. Anybody have any questions? Now, this is the way I solved it. Um, if, I w if I looked at every single one of your all, all, all of your guys' code, I'm sure every single one of you have solved it a different way. And that's fine. There's a million ways to, so to solve the same problem. What questions do you have about the bottle song or 99 bottles? Anything you want me to go over? Oh, I see a bunch of chat. Good. Good. Um, Tom, just kind of in the in the in the spirit of um, I can't remember the guys that the, the chairman of the alumni. Yep. Like some, some just stupid things. So like uh, the words console log and node seem like odd words to me <laughs> for, for what they do. Can, can you kind of, it, do you know where they come from or, or why they mean what they mean? So console log, I, like it's just a way to write out in the terminal or in the console. There's also like, it, so console data, I actually don't know specifically what console, but log is literally just a method that's built off of the console. So there's also console.air, there's console.table, but console.log literally will just print out whatever you pass into it in the mm -hmm. terminal here. So, mm -hmm. I can, okay. so I can literally open up a window and come over here to the console. So that like, again, JavaScript is of the, the language of the web. So here I'm in, in the, on a website or in a browser and I go over to the console and the Chrome dev tools and I can type console. I can even like, so here are all the, here are all the built-in functions off of the, the keyword console. It's like debug memory, warn is log in here. Console log. So here's its function. So I can literally type in like console.log test and it just says test so that's kind of where console log comes from it's specifically for javascript for like the web yeah, one thing that i kind of picked up years ago i want to say maybe even like maybe in elementary when we we're running the apple 2e in the oregon trail game i don't know if anybody's familiar with that but oh, yeah. uh the console was like you'd say it was a computer console was the screen that you're, you know, so not the actual keyboard, not the actual processor, but it was more or less just like old school version of a monitor uh, before they called it monitors was just a computer console. So when you're doing a console log, it's posting onto the screen is one way to think of it. Yeah. I like that. That's, yeah, that's better. So, so log is the verb and console is the place where it's going. Yep. That's a good point, yeah. Okay. And then for Node, like, um, again, what he was referring to was um, 
so can we think of nodes as basically just packages of code? Is that kind of the idea or? Well, it's, I think it's referred to like Node.js. So Node.js is essentially how to write backend JavaScript as like backend code or like on the machine versus not, not on the web. Because so that's what Node is like, it's referring to like Node.js. And in order to run a JavaScript file on your local machine, the keyword is like Node. Okay, so that means it's on the machine versus on a web server somewhere. Yeah. It, yeah. So, and it's literally just a keyword of how to run a JavaScript file. All right. I am going to.